Hey, you know what I just learned about too? Doing my homework before I came. Did you ever hear about the? Is it that word? Did you ever hear about the uh, the massacre that happened out here? Massacre? Yeah. yeah. In Luxor. What happened? I didn't hear about the. It was like fifty or sixty tourists got killed, man. Oh, what? Yeah, this was like. I don't want to mess it up, get the information wrong, but I want to say like the early 2000s. <laughs> there you go, man. What's good, Chill, bro? Right around the corner. I had a feeling I might run it. This is the group. Hey, this is my niche. This is my homie. This is Joe. Joe He's nice part of the group. Yes, yeah. Joe, I just found out, is like a long lost associate because yeah, yeah, he know yeah, my yeah, sister, man. Yeah. Went to school with him. Went to high school with my sister. Uh -huh. That go the rest of the group, man. <laughs> I actually found y'all. That's crazy. <laughs> y'all about to get out of here? What's you good? Y'all just started. I thought you got here at 4 o'clock. I texted you to tell you we didn't get here. I ain't had no Wi-Fi since I left. I should have turned it on the airport. What's good? <laughs> Strangers, how y'all how y'all tripping without me, man? How's it going? Yeah. All right, all right. Y'all look like y'all been all around. What other sites you got to see today? That's it. That's it. That's the last one. Okay, this is my first one. This is where I came out that I landed. I'm a celebrity here. I already like know. <laughs> uh, she she be dressed. She know the assignment. <laughs> she got her hair wrapped. So here, somebody man. gonna somebody gonna wipe her up out here, way. man. So we going a little deeper, man. Hopefully I'll see y'all again. If not, you know, have fun. See y'all later. Man, I only got five percent left, man. I'm like, That's crazy. Now, how, how crazy is that, man? I haven't seen them since Cairo, man. And I caught a plane of Luxor myself and ran into them here. Behind you. Yeah, man, I keep running into the right people out here. Oh, look at the color That's still that blue there. man again. I, I got to figure out who that is. The color, man. Nice. Yeah. Very deep in grain. Very vibrant. Do you know anything about, like, what they use, the color and stuff? Mm, I think they, like... I'm not sure, but my idea was that they would take like certain things out of nature and just chop it up, grind it down, right. and get the color. Right, but I'm curious, guy. like what? Because yeah, yeah. the last thousands of years. Yeah, it must have been a special type of concoction. Yeah, man, that's impressive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was funny because I thought <laughs> I thought we was about to get uh, grifted for a minute. Uh, you taking pictures? That cost, sir. His accent, his Egyptian accent, yeah, he got kind of good, good, man. Legit, man. <laughs> hey, that's another thing the guy was saying uh, when I was with them a couple of days ago. They kept saying to him specifically, like, "Are you Egyptian?" He's like, "Nah, you know, maybe, but yeah, yeah. from America, from Chicago." Like, oh, cause you look Egyptian more yeah. than the others. More, th and I was thinking about what you were saying man, of like, is that your perception of how the Egyptians look? Because my brother is obviously a melanated man. He yeah. a black man. Yeah. But I don't think they were all super light skinned either. Because have you ever seen a picture where the Egyptians themselves drew an African, an Egyptian, an Asian, and a yeah, European? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. the Egyptian exactly. looked just like the African, exactly. didn't it? It was the same color, same exactly. stature. There was like a jet black, darker uh, brown one, and then mm -hmm. like a white one. The brown one was the Asian, yeah. and then the other black one was an Egyptian. The African and Egyptian looked like twins. And this is from the depiction of the Egyptians. So it's not somebody else's interpretation. Everywhere. I was thinking about getting an unk tattoo. I think I'm gonna have to do it now, man. 
You know what, if I, I immediately got a tattoo guy, I never really thought of it, but if I did, it would be a small, something small, right? Mm -hmm. Unk does seem like a good idea. I want to, these might be my last two I ever get, the Unk and the Eye of Anubis. Eye of Anubis or Horus? I thought it was a new because the eye of Horus. The eye of Horus okay. is really the one that's just swiggling. Yeah, yeah, okay, my that's fault. That's the cross section of the brain. Exactly, it represents the third eye, yeah, the yeah. pineal gland. Those who see without vision mm -hmm. have intuition, you know. And that's what India is all about. Meditation to activate that. Mm -hmm. You meditate it now? Uh, it's on and off for me, man. Yeah, it's me so too, bro. Hard to keep it consistent. I tried it a couple times, yeah. but you're right. Like here and there. Crazy, the most simplest mm -hmm. But that tells you how uh, important it actually may be, man. Mm -hmm. Just learn to like calm your mind. Your physical body. Yeah. yeah. You don't even realize how much your mind is racing until you try to stop it for a little while. Man, to see it at its prime, yeah. yeah. Even just being built, though, like you said, would be yeah. incredible, man. To see the building, the yeah, exactly. Are we near the end? I, I guess at least this section. Part of me doesn't want there to be the end, but part of me wants it. <laughs> I want to see it all. Yeah, like you said, I, I definitely got to come back, man. Does it go further down? Yeah, let's see. Oh, yeah, so you're going to the valley, yeah? Oh, yes, see? sir. I'm going to... Uh, just to let, I'm going let tomorrow. You know, let you, just let you know, heads up, you got to pay the ticket entrance, mm. and then there's each ticket for each tomb. Yeah, yeah, yeah I heard about yeah, that. Yeah, and then there's also a ticket for the car that... Travels to the tombs. <laughs> Taxing, man. Yeah, yeah. And I think I'm gonna have to pay the highest price because I want to see Nefertiti's tomb. That's, that's um, the most expensive. Seti is a thousand. I think that was the most. Nefertiti, Nefertiti is twelve hundred. I heard. Oh, okay, that's maybe the yeah. internet said. Mm. It might be different now. We have to go back again to see that. Yeah, you want to just quickly like run in there? Like, yeah, yeah. Hour walk. Because I don't want to keep them waiting too long. Try to get you all, the, not just you all. This for me too. It's for us, but give you the best experience possible. Salam. Okay, one two That's them. That's always interesting to me. The pictures where it seems like they're feeding him the aunt. Yeah, you know what? I've um, I watched a documentary. They had a theory mm -hmm. is that there's like uh, the shape of the aunt has like vibrational, some sort of vibrational effect or whatever, and they're healing mm. the person with some. I don't know exactly what how it goes, but it's something to do with vibration. Okay. Some more statues back here. So I guess this is basically the end. I want to catch that uh that wall we passed on the way in. We didn't really see it in detail. Go ahead. Thank you. Thank you. Black people in Vancouver are few and far in between. Right? Yeah. Whenever I see one, I'm like, yo. What's <laughs> <laughs> but there, there, there are a handful. Okay. Handful, but a handful. handful. Mostly white and Asian. Asian? Oh, it's a Chinese. I did not know that, man. It's, it's gone to the point where restaurants, buildings, and all that. That's Written in Chinese. Exactly. And all, yeah. Not even, like, there's no English. It's They're trying Chinese. to make their own Chinatown, exactly, basically. Exactly, because who brings the money is who dictates what the culture's yeah, going to be. That's A true. lot of the apartment buildings that are being built now, 100% mm. foreign Asians just Damn. buying it all up, and then raising the property, and then 
making it hard for locals to... Hey, man, I wonder if that's... Because you ever read The Art of War? By Sun Tzu? Yeah, yeah. I read it all. I'll yeah. be wondering sometimes if yeah. that's one of their tactics, because The Art of oh. War talks about that. Yeah, you know, the Chinese government is definitely doing stuff yeah, like, like that. Yeah, like, I'm going to send shit. our people everywhere. So yeah. we have connects and contacts mm -hmm. everywhere. We have information if everywhere. we have the biggest population, might as well do it. Yeah. Pretty much, right? So they've kind of infiltrated, like, everywhere. Yeah, you know what? I never thought of it like that. Yeah, man. You know? That look how they, makes sense. Look how they deliberately went and scratched off the faces of all of these... That's you know crazy. what? You know what? I just noticed that. You're All right. of the faces. You're right. Exactly. Even though they missed the black man, the brother over there with the lips and yeah. the nose. Yeah, because it's too high for those short <laughs> <laughs> But every single face, man. Oh, wow, you're right. I, didn't, I just noticed that, right? So it's probably some ruler who came in. And... Either a ruler or somebody who didn't want yeah. Africans to know their true yeah. origins, man. Because cause this type of uh, acts is done worldwide too, you know? Mm. Whenever hey, look at that. That's like incense. Yeah. Right? There might Even be incense. some some ganja in there, man. And the Ankh is pouring something out onto the flower. Ah, oh, that's dope. I didn't even peep that. Yeah. yeah. And that's the um lotus, ain't it? Lotus flower. Yeah. yeah. The Ankh is pouring something on a lotus flower and he's handing him something that looks like it's smoking. Kind of looks like a pipe. Or something like yeah, that. Yeah, like it almost like smoke mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, you see that the tri that like this thing right here? I think that's where you put the weed or whatever yeah, in. Yeah, that's what you I'm light saying. it up and then yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hey man, my ancestors already knew what time it was. Is that's not the now, what is this? I don't know, let's go check it out. Mm. Oh look at that, man. Yeah, that sunshine is beautiful. It was a couple of nice shots of it peeking through the monuments too. Yeah, yeah, you know I got that. Damn, oh, just that's look a beautiful this, this shot. Right whoa. Hey, that's what we're about to do. It's a lot of scarab beetles. This is the first like actual statue of one I've seen. <laughs> Look at all the obelisks, man. But what I find interesting is, you know, when you go to India and you see the ancient temples, mm. they have respect to take the shoes off, like they do in the mosques. Yeah. But in the African ancient temples, like everyone's walking like the shoes, like it's actually a temple of gods. Exactly. They, they were, it was divine for them. Like, and we it's just show respect. Yeah, I don't know why it's different, you know. No, I think it's what you said. Look at who's controlling it. And if they only care about money. Uh, like if you go to a mosque, you have to take it. Ah, uh, yeah. But they probably only want to preserve it so they can continue to make money at the end of the day. I don't think the respect is still there, unfortunately. But you're right. Like, we're inside of tombs and temples. It's and also because the original people are in the land. That's, that's, that's what I'm saying. India, like, the, the people are still there. Yeah. You know? that's, still gonna... that's my point. Look who's controlling it. They don't have as much consideration or care as the original people. Because to your point, when you go to Ethiopia, it's a completely different vibe. Like, they want you to respect everything there. Yeah, I definitely want to go to Ethiopia. Oh, it's the thickest obelisk they got right here. The last the joking in here. Yeah, I'll be uh I'll be there. I'll meet you at the boat, right? Some quick shots on the way out. Uh, no, I think uh, if you walk all the way out, I think 10 minutes. 10, 15 minutes. So, so, yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 I feel bad for making them wait for you. Me too, man. Look, look, bro. Those ah. ones are in mint condition on me. Yeah, man, it's pissing me off. We don't have yeah. more time. Yeah, yeah. Come on, you told them 10 minutes. Come on, man, real quick, real quick. Mint condition, man. Only broken pieces, like there. yeah, you're right. The face is everything. Yeah. Damn, this is crazy. <laughs> you want, you want 
That's Ramesses, I'm pretty sure. I know that. Ah. That one with the pose like that. Okay. Is he about to whip somebody or something? I guess so. He always portrayed himself as like, you know? Dominant. Yeah, these are incredible, man. This is on the way out. We almost missed these. Shout out to my man Manish again for the, for seeing it, for catching it. We almost walked right past it. Yeah, it's definitely more than you can see in one day if you're paying attention, man. I just wonder what was done in this temple. You know, when, like, you know, what was they used in, for? Like, well, yeah, when they come in, like, do they work? How do they worship? How do they, mm. where do they put the offerings? You know what I mean? Like, and I'm curious, was it like a public? Kind of like a church, like a you know, yeah. like a mosque, or you know. Yeah, like was it only a was, select few allowed? Or? Right, only royalty, a certain you know, mm -hmm. upper echelon, high society people, or was it just everybody who wanted to worship, who believed in Ra? <laughs> oh, that's a good shot right there, man. I've been Ah huh? oh, yeah. The camera right there. Mm. Yeah, that's crazy. But is the exit that way? It's that direction. We should be able to get out there. And if not, we could always be honest and tell them, like, we got lost, man. It's pretty big. <laughs> I mean, with all, the, all of the little sneaky underhanded ways they're trying to get money out of me, like, you know what I mean? I don't feel bad about it. Yeah. And then, my, my you know, resolution for that is I'm going to tip them well. Excuse me, excuse me. Nothing like the documentary, man. Yeah. It's a way different feel. Yeah, man. You got to be here. You got to really experience it to see the scope of it. Because you don't... I mean, of course, they explain it in feet and meters and inches. But until you actually looking up and seeing how high up they went to build it, to write on it, carve it out. Yeah, man. It's ridiculous. This is, I think, one of my favorites. Just this, these three right here. One, two, three. Yeah, man. Cause the color, the detail. That's crazy. You get your name written in papyrus yet, or anything like that? Nah. That's what the guy was telling me. He was like, I can get you some papyrus. Yeah, I did. I got uh, it. I mean, it's cheap. I, you know, once. They I had it in, in Cairo. The group I was with, they got it. And I didn't get one because it was, it was kind of high. I spent all my money I had on me. And so he was like, oh, no, I can get you papyrus half the price of in Cairo. It's like, I'll get you a very good price. So I'm like, all right, so I might get some here. Get you very good prices <laughs> until you find out other guys' prices better. All right. <laughs> But now I have some, um, you know, have something to compare it to. Because they were paying, I think, what was it? 1200 1200 Is that I it? I think I, I paid 80 bucks for a nice picture. Well, you know, uh, uh, pounds, not oh. dollars. But yeah, no, no, no. I paid 80 pounds. Oh, yeah, that's nothing, man. 80 pounds, yeah, yeah. For uh, a picture with my name written in a cartouche. And that was here? That was here. 80 yeah, pounds. Not, not, a, not Luxor, but in Cairo. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good deal, man. They were paying like twelve hundred. It came out of like maybe the cheapest was thirty, thirty to fifty bucks. I did have a uh, tour guide with me though. Mm -hmm. it was really helpful in bargaining with them. Ah, oh, that's fire, bro. Even this view is beautiful. Yeah. The mountains, man. It's just like you're walking into seeing like the god. Yeah. For <laughs> real, out of respect, we should have did that when we answered. That's know? what I'm saying. Like, if it was any other, you know what I'm saying? Like, people are ruling. Right? Nah, you're right. Yeah, we, we would have, we would have been doing that. That's that's a fact. That's a completely different but vibe. They take out the divinity of it. Mm -hmm. It's all commercialized. Yes, yes. Yeah. Which you know, I get it. it. They gotta it, make money. It makes it makes a lot of sense in parallels with Black America. 
commercialize the pain and the suffering and into just like gangster rap. That's all we are. Well, to your you point, you know what I'm saying? Black like, America, but melanated people around the world, Indians, all of us is like, okay, we're gonna take the resources, take the music, take the we're gonna take, 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 take as much as we can and, and benefit from it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, usually we get the crumbs left over. If that. So we back uh leaving Parallel, now. Bro. Yeah man. So these are goat sphinxes. Yeah. Line in the entrance. I know Mahmoud is gonna curse me out in Arabic. If he's still there, he might have left. Oh, man. I wanted to go skydiving over the Great Pyramid. When I first got here, I saw tons of skydivers falling over the Great Pyramid. I didn't know that you could do that. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. asked me about like that. I do want to do the hot air balloon. Like, nah, uh -huh. I'm good. I went uh, skydiving back home. Yeah, be nothing like going over the Great Pyramid. Yeah, that would be incredible, bro. I've never done it. My sister did it. I know, like, even that French girl I told you, she did it. I don't think I skydiving for me personally, <laughs> nah. But what was crazy is I saw a 16-year-old kid with an AK-47 and he was dressed in a police uniform. In Luxor? In uh, Cairo. Oh, damn. He was like 16, 18 years old, man. Right? That's crazy, man. I seen the little kids working, like, taking a whole herd of animals and all yeah, that. Yeah. They'd be like seven years old. I, I haven't seen the slow Ah, uh, no, lots of crime. Lots of crime. <laughs> and then you know they try to get a couple dollars at you for you. Yeah, right before, right? That's when they put this uh, right. <laughs> understandably, so if I had time, I probably would grab a cat here for my mom, but. Like funny and annoying a little bit. <laughs> Like, you know what's going to happen when they come talk to you. Hey. Like underhanded ways they oh, try to get it out of you. Yeah, they hustling, man. But, you know, I get it. Big-ass pity play in Cairo. Old, old granny woman, man. I felt sorry for her, right? Yeah. She gives me, like, some free trinkets. Like, uh -huh. you take, you take, you take. That's the right? trick, man. You, it, you know, I don't have, I don't have kids. I have kids. Uh -huh. I have a little bit of money. For free. No, yeah, yeah. first it's a gift. Yeah. And then it's like, oh, I'll take a couple of dollars. I to give, like, I can't say no to an old lady. So right. I give, like, a little bit, right? But, and that was good of you. I do the same thing. When I have it, I give it. But that's funny. You know, uh, that's what the guy was telling us in Cairo was like, even if they try to give you stuff for free and they don't take it, they're going to ask for money later. Which I read, that's true. That was in this book uh, called Get Anyone to Do Anything. Oh, okay. Yeah. And that was one of the tactics. They're like, yeah. you know, just oftentimes it. people will just give you something and you're thinking it's a gift. And yeah. then now they're like, okay, well, let me tell you about my business or this or that. Yeah. Or let me sell you yeah. something. And you subconsciously feel obligated. Because it's like, well, they were nice enough to give me something, but... It's all a, a scheme sometimes. So we are on our way out. This is the exit. To give them a loan. Facts. Give them a little and then you can take a lot. over here who charge you five bucks for a piss. These guys right here. We should just call the tourism police right here. I'll just go outside and piss, man. I got to go, my brother. Ana Asif. But I'll be back. Radan, I'll be back. All right. What's up, man? K for Haluk. So yeah, I'm about to end it right here. We getting up out of here. This the There you go. My niece learned fast, man. So we out of here. A new word from my brother Raz over here. <laughs> La Shukran. He's a quick learner, man. <laughs> Say no thank you. I don't want your wares. But yeah, I'm gonna end it right here, man. It was a, another great day. Hopefully my driver is not too upset. Yeah. Yeah. Mess up, met a good brother, my niece. Hope you kick it a little more. But we at least made a good connection. And uh, I'll check back in with y'all at the next site, man, in a minute.